الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين استفى أما بعض فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله استفى آدم ونوح وآل إبراهيم وآل عمران على العالمين ذرية بعضها من بعض والله سميع عليم صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا واعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى امين يا رب العالمين As I told you in the second portion of the first part of Surah Al-Imran, actually now the address is directed towards the Christians and to tell them what was the real position of Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu was salam. But for that, as is the general practice with the Quran, the discussion is starting from Hazrat Adam and then Hazrat Nuh and then Hazrat Ibrahim and so on because it was a line of the prophets. Inna Allah astafa Adam wa Nuh wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Imran ala al-alameen. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose Adam and Nuh and the progeny of Ibrahim and the progeny of Imran on all the nations of the world. Progeny of Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq, Yaqub, Adar, the progeny of Ibrahim. Then all the other also, even Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he belongs to the progeny of Ibrahim and all the Hebrew prophets also. But now especially Allah Imran. Imran was the name of the father of Hazrat Musa and Hazrat Harun alayhi wasallam. And in that very line were the mother of Hazrat Masih alayhi salam, Hazrat Maryam. So now that is given the line of the dynasty. Zurriyatam ba'aduha min ba'ad. They are the progeny of one another. Imran was in the progeny of Ibrahim. And then Yahya, Isa, they were in the progeny of Imran. So they were progeny of one from other. Wallahu Samiyun Aleem and Allah listens to everything and he knows everything. Is Qalat Imratu Imran. Just remember when the wife of Imran said, now who is this Imran? There are two interpretations. One is that the maternal grandfather of Hazrat Masih alayhi salam was also Imran and it is just possible. The names are repeated, you know, in the families. The name of the great grandfather, now that is the same name of the of some offspring. So it goes on. So one opinion is that it is the name of the maternal grandfather of Hazrat Maryam Salamun Aleha. And the other is that the same name Imran has been used, that a woman of the family of Imran said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, both are possible. Is Qalat Imratu Imran Rabbi Inni Nazar to Laka Mafi Batni Muharran Fatakabal Minni. She was pregnant and she prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh my Lord, I vow to thee whatever is in my womb. And I dedicate him to, the, to your service, absolving him of all the other responsibilities. Muharran, absolving him of all the other responsibilities. He will be devoted fully, full time, whole time. To the service of your temple. In the Kanta Fatakabal Minni, so please accept him from me. In the Kanta In the Kanta Samyul Ali. Definitely you are the only one who listens to everything and who knows everything. She said, Oh Lord, I have delivered a daughter. Wallahu alamu bima wazaat. There was not, no need of telling her telling to Allah what he has delivered. Allah very well knew what he had delivered. Allah knew what was in her womb already. 
واللہ اعلم بما وضعت اللہ ویری ویل نو نیو ہوم ہی ہیڈ ڈلیورڈ ول ایسا ذکر او کل انسا اینڈ دی میل از ناٹ لائک فی میل وانی سمیت ہا مریم اینڈ ناؤ دس از اگین دی سیئنگ اف حضرت دی مدر اف حضرت مریم انی سمیت ہا مریم آئی ہیو گیون ہر دی نیم اف میری اور مریم وانی اعیذ ہا بکا اینڈ آئی گیو ہر ٹو یور ریفیوج in your protection wa zurriyataha not only him not only her but i to her progeny also to your refuge min ash-shaitan ar-rajeem from the shaitan which is accursed and which is outcast fa taqabbalaha rabbuha bi qabul hasan so allah accepted her with the best of acceptance wa ambataha nabat al-hasana and made her grow in a very beautiful way bakaffalaha zakariya and gave her to the protection of zakariya alay salatu wassalam and zakariya was the maternal uncle of hazrat e masi alay salam the brother in law should we should say of the mother of hazrat e maryam both were sisters mother of yahya that is wife of zakariya and mother of isa that is mari uh, uh, mother of maryam they were sisters wa kaffalaha zakariya kullama dakhala alaiha zakariya al mihrab whenever zakariya used to enter on the sanctuary where maryam was living and staying wajada indaha rizqa he found their provision qala ya maryam anna lak hadha He used to ask her a question, where from are these things coming to you? Now about this provision, this car, uh, there are two views. One is that articles of eating, fruits, etc., etc. Although that was not the season, unseasonal fruit was found and seen with Maryam, alayhi salatu wa salam. So he was astonished, where from are these things coming to you, O Mary? And the other opinion is that the wisdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given her with Maryam, he was astonished at the wisdom and he used to ask him where from have you learned these things both these meanings are possible qalat wa min indillah she used to answer all these things are from allah subhanahu wa taala he sends me these fruit or he has given me this knowledge this is applicable answer is applicable to both, both the interpretations in the allah yarzuqu man yasha bi ghairi hisab verily allah subhanahu wa taala will give the providence will provide can provide whose whom so ever he likes without any account without any measure out of measure hunane ka da zakariya rabba at that very moment we should translate it there and then hunane ka there and then zakariya also prayed to his lord qad rabb habli bil ladun ka zurriyatan tayyiba when he saw hazrat maryam salamun alaiha such a gentle and such you know a the good a young girl he had in his mind the desire in his heart a desire arose naturally may allah give me a son like this this girl qala rabb habli bil ladun ka zurriyatan tayyiba o allah grant me from your own presence why this bil ladun ka because he was very old and his wife had been barren all the life they had no issue up till now and he was very old so under the normal physical laws he couldn't accept it he couldn't expect that there can be some son allah subhanahu wa taala can give him it is in his power but not according to the general physical law law of the universe min ladunka from your presence rabb habli min ladunka zurriyatan tayyiba innaka samiul dua There is no doubt that you listen to all the prayers. Fanaatul malaika to, so the angels called him. Wahoo akaimu yusalli fil mihrab, and he was also standing and praying to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is in, in his sanctuary. What what did the uh, angels say? In the Allah, in the Allah, you must share with me Yahya. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has sent for you. the glad tidings glad news about yahya john john the baptist musaddiqan bi kalimatin min allah he will confirm a special kalima from allah subhanahu wa taala 
Because Quran says that Hazrat Masih alayhi salam was kalimatullah, kalimatum minhu. So he will confirm and attest to it. Musaddiqam bi kalimatim min, min Allah wa sayyidan wa husuran. He will be a leader. Wa husuran and a very chaste person. Wa nabiyyam min as-salihin. And he will be a prophet from among the righteous. So you are given the glad tidings of such a great son.